Welcome to Leaks In this episode, we're going to be setting up our new Discord bot development project with four simple steps. In this series, we're going to cover how to start your project from the bottom and how to build it up to be a more all in one, generally advanced Discord bot. So, in this episode, we're going to be making sure that you have all of the necessary programs that you need to run a bot. And then we're going to be creating our bot application, inviting the bot with the correct intents, and coding the actual launch code of the bot. So, let's go ahead and start out. Be able to run the bot on Discord.js version 13 you will need to have the current version of node.js not the recommended so the first thing in the description is going to take you to this website go ahead and download the current version of node.js to be able to run the bot flawlessly if you already have installed the recommended version there is no problem you just download the current installer and it will automatically update your uh, node.js uh, to the current version the third link in the description is going to take you to Visual Studio Code's official website. I would recommend you get this code editor because we're going to be using it throughout this whole series. But it's uh, completely up to you. If you have another code editor that you're most comfortable with, you can keep using that. But I'm going to be using code or Visual Studio Code editor throughout this whole series. The third link in the description is going to take you to the Discord developer applications website. In here you will need to log in with your discord account to be able to create a new application once you're at this page you might not see these applications over here this, these are previous applications that created but you need to focus on this blue icon you press it and then here you select the name for your application i'm gonna name it leaks code for example then you hit on create then to the left hand side you will see the bot option under the settings and here you're gonna select this blue icon over here and press on yes do it to, to add a bot to that client and here you can change the picture of your bot here the username and uh, here is the token now we'll leave the token for later on but now we need to enable the privileged uh, gateway intents first and invite the bot to our discord server so over here if you scroll down you will see privileged gateway intents you will need to enable the presence intents and the server members intents because these are intents that uh, we're going to be using later on in this series now if you head to the second option inside of the settings menu it's going to take you to this page and here you need to select the bot under scopes and the application commands it's very important to select both of them uh, uh, for obvious reasons application commands uh, we're going to be using it to create slash commands later on in the episode now here for the general permissions you need to select administrator it's your own bot you should trust it and we're going to be utilizing every single permission in our series so it's always good to have every one of them with the bot so now here we're going to copy that link by clicking on this icon and then we're going to paste that link inside of our browser here you're going to select a guide and press continue authorize and verify that you're not a bot now if we go to our discord we go to our discord server we can see that the leaks code just joined this is from a previous uh, test episode so we can see like a uh, leaks code joined uh, but it's not online yet, which will take us to the next step, which is actually coding our launch code. Now we're gonna go to our desktop and we're gonna create a new uh, folder and we're gonna name it whatever we want. That folder is gonna contain every single file that you create on your bot. Now, if you go ahead and hit your Visual Studio Code, open it up. Now, if you press on File up to the left, select your Add Folder to Workspace. Go to your desktop and select that folder that you just created. Once that is done, you're going to go ahead and open a new terminal and select the name of the folder that you created if you have multiple folders in the workspace. And inside of here, you're going to type npmidiscord.js and that should install the discord.js package for you. Once that is done, if you go to our uh, Lixcode file or folder inside of our workspace, we should see node models, package.lock.json, uh, and package.json. Now you see that our package.json has only the dependencies inside of it. Now if we go to our terminal and type npm init y, it's gonna add additional information about your bot, which you can edit, like for example, the author, license, description, name, and version. You can always change uh, the information in here but it's not really required so now we're gonna close out of this and we're gonna create a new file inside of our leaks code folder we're gonna call it index.js 
which is going to be the main folder in our um, uh, Discord bot project. And if you're wondering what extensions I'm using, I'm using OneDark Pro and Beautify. All right, so here we're going to grab a couple of objects from the Discord.js package. And we only need the client object for now. So we type const client equals require require discord.js between quotes that will grab the client object from the discord.js package and now here we need to define the client we type const clients the client meaning the bot the actual bot users client equals to new client and now here we're gonna open this round brackets and inside of them we're gonna place curly brackets and here we're going to type intents and to calculate our intents instead of typing intents dot flags dot whatever we're going to be using a calculator the link for that calculator is going to be in the description and here you can see all of the possible intents that uh, discord provides but for this episode we're only going to be using the guiles and members actually we're only going to be using the guiles but we'll take the members just to make sure now here we're going to uh, we're gonna sentence to the left hand side. We're gonna select or we're gonna copy the tree. We're gonna go back into our Visual CD code and paste that number inside of our intents object. All right. Once that is done, uh, we're gonna create um, a simple event to let us know when they're ready uh, when the client gets online. So in here we're gonna type client dot once ready. We're gonna create. Uh, we're gonna put an OMA and then empty a comma and then empty uh, uh, empty round brackets. Then we're gonna create um, um, an error function, what we call it. And then here we're gonna type console.log. The bot is now online. Simple as that. Now that we uh, created this uh, event listener, we're gonna actually log in with our token. So here we're gonna type client dot login and uh, sorry log in, and we we'll leave this round brackets empty from now until we retrieve our token. Token. So for that you you're gonna be um, I recommend that you store your token in an uh, in a different file, uh, in a JSON file. So if you go to our uh, workspace. We're gonna create a new file inside of our leaks code folder. We're gonna call it config.json. That config.json is gonna, it's, it's a small database that will store um, IDs and uh, channel IDs, role IDs, or token or database URLs uh, temporary until we uh, reach the point where we can comfortably create our database and connect it with the Discord bot. And here we're gonna create this curly bra brackets. And within quotes, we're gonna type token two dots equals to that string and to get the token you're gonna go to your developer portal to your this uh, leaks code or whatever uh, project you created you're gonna go ahead to the bot section over here and you're gonna copy that token now make sure to never reveal this token to anybody but yourself because anybody that has this token can control your own bot uh, using whatever software they have whatever code they have so I'm gonna be regenerating my token after this episode, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, so once we have copied, we're gonna place that token inside of the string that belongs to the token uh, name. Then we're gonna close out of the config and we're gonna import that token to our index.js so we can access it, so we can parse it in the login function. So here we're gonna type const object token equals to require dot dot slash uh, or actually dot slash config.json so here we're grabbing the token uh, value from the config.json file and in that client.login here we're gonna pass in the actual token and we're gonna close that line all right so now if we go to our terminal let's clear it and type node space dot then that should run our bot now we can see here that the bot is now online like it say, like we said it to, uh, to say over here. Now, if you go to our Discord server, we should see now that the bot has gone online. You can simply set the state of the bot by typing client.user.setActivity. Here we can set the name of the activity. Hello, 
and here you're gonna set the type of the activity, activity uh, which is gonna be sorry inside of an object type. It's gonna be for example watching. We're gonna save then restore the boat by pressing Ctrl C in the terminal then node space dot. And now if we go to the Discord, we can see that the activity of the boat is watching hello. So this is it for this episode. I hope you guys found this informative. In the future episodes, we're going to be creating our handlers. Then we're going to be moving on to moving on to more advanced command systems. So stay tuned. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next episode.